Next, I'd like to introduce for you the um, theorems and postulates for Boolean algebra for the AND function. So we've seen the AND logical gate. We know the truth table for x and y. And it goes like this, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Um, this is 0, 0 and 1 is 0, 1 is 0 is 0, 1 and 1 is 1. Okay, so if we have, suppose we have some kind of a logical function like x or xy or x and z naught or something like this. So we can make the logic gates in order to implement the logic of this function. But before we do that, we want to see if we can um, simplify this and minimize it so that we can actually build it with fewer gates, which will increase the speed and decrease the complexity and the cost. So let me show you the identities for um, simplifying um, an algebraic expression like that using Boolean algebra. So the first one is that x anded with 1 is equal to x. Um, and this makes sense because if we look over here at our truth table, um, as long as we and something with 1, we're going to get the value of whatever our original um, input is. Um, and something interesting about this is this makes 1 the identity element for anding. The next one is that x anded with x naught is going to be 0. And this makes sense too because if we have something anded with its inverse, then that's going to be one of these cases here where they're going to be different, so our results are always going to be 0. If we take x and we and it with itself, we're just going to get x. And if we take x and we and it with 0, we're always going to get 0 because then we'll have these, one of these cases here. If one of the elements is 0, we know that the result of anding will always be 0. So it doesn't matter what comes in on x, whether it's a 0 or a 1. If we and it with 0, we'll get 0. Next we have that xy is equivalent to yx. And this again is commutivity. And it basically means that the order which that we um, we and these elements, right? These literals doesn't matter. Okay, and then the next one is associativity. So if we have x, y, z, if we and together the y and z f first, and then and that result to x, that's going to be equivalent to if we and the x and y together first, and then take that result and and it with z. And this is associativity. From a logical standpoint, um, if we have a three input and, this is x, this is y, this is z, um, this is actually equivalent to if we and it together x and y first, and then we took that result and anded it with z, x, y, z. Okay, so depending on the criteria that we're trying to minimize, suppose the cost of these three input ands is more costly than more simple two input ands, but we just it's going to take a little bit longer, or maybe we actually want to delay our output, then um, we can make a design choice like this using this um, associativity theorem for in Boolean algebra for anding. Okay, great. So that's associativity. Um, the next one is x or with y z is x or y anded with x or z. Um, and this kind of begs to be foiled. So if you had this right hand side here and you were to foil it and do the appropriate cancellations using these previous identities, you'll get this left hand side here. So we'll do some practice with these ones later. Um, just to finish up, the other one that's important that we're going to talk about at length later is De Morgan's theorem. And it says that if you take um, an input, input x and y, and you invert it, that's equivalent to inverting this and then oring it with y inverted. Okay, so let me say that a little bit better. Um, x, y, not is equivalent to x, not, or y, not. Okay, and this is going to be really helpful when we are um, taking complements. So this is called de Morgan's 
theorem. And then the next one is x anded with x or y is just equal to x. And this one is called absorption. And we have this for O-ring also. And if you imagine if we distributed this x here on the left-hand side, um, this would give us x anded with x or x, y. And then recall that x anded with x, if we look up here, that's just equal to x. So if this thing here is just equal to x, this would be x or x, y. Now if we factor out the x here, this gives us x or and 1 or y. We know from our identities um, of the OR function that 1 or with anything is just equal to 1. So this is x and 1, which is just equal to x. So um, in the next video, I'll show you some examples of how to, um, how to apply these theorems and postulates to minimize a function like this.